Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to show you an easy way to clip content from the web into your Obsidian Vault. Now before I get into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. Okay, so the workflow I'm going over today is basically uh, focused on you're on the web, you see some content that you want to capture and bring into Obsidian. And instead of, you know, selecting the content, copy and pasting, I want to show you a quicker way to get the content into Obsidian and also have the relevant links to where you actually clip that content from. So let's go ahead to the browser here. So you're going to need a Chrome browser or Breeze where you can actually go to the Chrome store and leverage this particular browser extension. So the browser extension is called Obsidian Clipper. So if you go to the Chrome Web Store, search for Obsidian Clipper, and then come in and add this to your browser. So we're gonna go ahead and add this. The browser plugin has been added. What you wanna do is, we can, we can either go into the Manage Extensions. We can click Details for that particular Obsidian Clipper. And in here, what we want to make sure is that one, the automatically allow access um, on the following sites is enabled. If this is not enabled, you will note you will get prompted to allow access. And this will actually break the functionality if this is not on by default, because when you actually click on the, the extension to you know copy your content and bring it into Obsidian, if this is not enabled, then it will not work. So you want to make sure that the allow permissions um, is always on for this particular extension. Now let's go into the extensions. What we will do is we will set this, we will pin it to the toolbar here. And if we right click on it, we can go into options. You can also do this under the manage extensions and in the details as well. I find this easier. And once we're in the options for this clipper, what we want to do is change a few settings so that this works the way you want it to work for you. Um, first, we do need to change the, the vault that it's going to. My primary vault is uh, Mecca that I'm going to use for this test. Uh, we can clip and create a new note here. So if you don't do this here, then otherwise it's going to specify a note. Um, to open up and then it will paste it into the you'll have to paste that into that note so if you want to have one single note that kind of has a, a trail of different clippings then you can do it that way or in this particular case we're going to have a note every time we clip something since we are going to have a, a note per clipping what I do is I create a unique name uh, for each of the clippings that I do and basically what I'm doing here is I'm just going to do web clippings dash and then you can see here there are some short uh, templates here some templates that you can use in the name I'm going to go ahead and use this one here for Zettel casting and this will go ahead and format the date and time so that every new note that I get will be unique and I'm naming it with web clippings at the front. So that kind of identifies that I have used this plugin to create this, this note within Obsidian. Another thing I suggest doing, and they give you the functionality in this extension, is go ahead and update the actual clipping format. So this is what's gonna be put in the note that gets created in this format using these, these template formatting. And to make this a bit more, um, I guess, useful or uh, future proof is when you create it, instead of going after the notes, the note has been created by the plugin and then modifying that with maybe tags or metadata, you can actually come in here and set up some of the default metadata or tags that you may want to have in this note 
on when it's actually created. So I'm going to go ahead here and put this uh, metadata in here for type. And I'm going to call this web clipping so that when I do a search, say using data view, then I can actually do a query for the, all of the web clippings that are in my vault. Under here, you can change whether the clip is is converted from HTML to Markdown. I'm going to leave mine as plain text. And then you can come in here and change the date format and also the date time format. We will go ahead and save this. And you can do a test right off the bat here. We'll go ahead and test. We'll see that this is prompting us to open Obsidian. And what we want to make sure that we do, as I mentioned before, is make sure this is always allow this particular uh, URL to open these links. We'll go ahead and hit open and we'll see it immediately opened up Obsidian. It put in the name that we specified with the date time formatting that we put in here using the Zettel template. We can also see within the note, we have the metadata that I added in there. Then it shows that, you know, a, an example of clipped content. And then it shows clip from Obsidian Clipper. It gives you a URL and then the actual date format uh, following the template format that we had in the options. Okay, so now let's see this actually work on a, on a real website that we might wanna clip data from. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to a medium site and let's just assume that we're reading some content from Medium. Um, say this top one, just going to pick any one. And I have this particular content that I want to capture and bring into Obsidian. So I select that content first. I, I click on the web extension and then this note is created again using the format uh, for that note that we've specified with the metadata, with the actual selected content is quoted here. And then the link to that content or the source of that content with the date that you clipped it. Okay, so it's really that simple. Um, I really love this particular web clipper for and how it fits into the workflow for leveraging Obsidian as a note taking app, productivity app, uh, basically an all around Swiss army knife for product productivity, content capturing, PKM, so on and so forth. Okay, if you found this information useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.